If you give your adult child money, but his or her spouse does something with it you don't approve of, do you have any say in the matter? I give my son money, says a reader, and his wife gives it to her church. The moneyologist, Quentin Fattrell, is here to help us work out this thorny situation. Quentin, this is a very tricky letter because this reader had sort of different concerns all in this one letter. Number one, he gives each of his three children a very generous yearly gift of $7,500 a year, correct? On Thanksgiving. Very generous. But he's concerned because his son's wife, who doesn't work, gives that money or some of the money to her church and he is not religious and doesn't approve. Right. So um, he he's upset about it right. and he wonders what he should do whether he should set up a retirement account for his son, which is sort of difficult unless he gives, he, he can't put that money directly into his son's retirement account. He would have to give it as a household expense or something along those lines. And right, and perhaps we should explain that the reader said also that he is worried that his son saves no money for retirement. Right. And his son has told him as much. Yes, so this is a big concern. His son works as an electrician, he's freelance, it seems like he makes an okay living, but his son has said himself, that he's not gonna, he doesn't plan to live long enough to retire. Oh, so, uh, you know, yeah, I got the sense in the letter that he sort of, he said a couple of times his son isn't really. Um, this father is frustrated with his son. Yes, that came let's across. put it that way. That came yes. across. So as a, as a father, he's worried about his son's future and he says, look, I'm giving my son a very generous amount of money every year. Perhaps I should put it in an IRA or a retirement account instead. What right. Did, what did you it's, say about that? It's possible, but you would have to. It's, you would have to. It's tricky mm -hmm. because you would really have to give the money, and he would have to. His son would have to use his own money from his own earnings, and then it would. It would just be. It would be tricky. The right. simplest way to you do can't it. Gift it, right? Right. It Not directly come. into that account. Not directly into that no. account. No. So. Um, the, the easiest way to do it would be to set up a trust for his son and for his grandchildren and, th and then he could have some say over how the money was spent. But so if he could, he could stipulate for yes. the money in this trust cannot be used for religious purposes. Yes. Okay. Ha um, however, that is um, the other part of the question, which right. is tricky, which is to say the etiquette you, part. The etiquette part, because which it is, is the most important part in this situation, yes. because you can really you can play around with the money and work it out any way you want and right. try and figure out a way to get his son to invest in his retirement, but you can't really do something with one gra with one child and then give cash to the other two. Right. That's going to create discord. And what you're doing is you're turning something good, seventy five hundred dollars, into something bad. Had a huge financial, a huge family drama, right. so what which he, will create more distance. What he was proposing was continuing to give the cash to his two other children and give the money for his son and put it into a trust instead, which of in course a, in a retirement account a retirement or account. or a trust in this case is what we're recommending. But you have to you have to be equal in how you in how you give the money. And I totally agree. I right. think any difference in the way you treat your children will just come back to haunt you. Absolutely, and I think that in this case, it's really important to remember that. You know this this family need to you, you need to remember that this is supposed to bring the family closer together, right. not tear them further apart. And as for the tithing, you made the point that she would probably be tithing anyway. Regardless. So it's like you're giving month the seventy five hundred dollars back right. that um, she would be giving to the church. Right. So it's you know in biblical terms that's bread on the water. Yeah. You know, <laughs> a good way of putting and it. And you can't expect to give money and then attach strings to it and have a stake in how people live and their lives. And it's also his daughter-in-law and his son has no problem with the tithing. No. His son in fact said that his success as an electrician may be tied to the tithing. So that's my, what he believes. So Yes, my final words to him were let the dough go. Love it. Love it. Quentin Patrell as always so wise. Thank you for that.